Hey guys, welcome back to our video series on the RoboKit's Arduino Servo Controller Board, which can be used to make several types of walking robots and robotic arms as we have seen. In this video, we discuss the various features available in the software, which make it very simple to make an Arduino code for any kind of walking robot or a robotic arm. So let us get started on our six motor robotic arm. So I'm just going to fire up our software and we will connect the board in the Bluetooth mode. So first I'll just power up the board. And we are ready. Okay guys, so let's connect to our robotic arm. Let's see the Bluetooth is on. We'll have to pair the device. So paired and now starting our software. and connect so the button should turn green yep and now we are all set just testing yep so now the first feature which i'd like to show you is that we can change the name of the motors so i am putting a base motor here a rest here this is useful especially when we are making any kind of walking robot so that when when you want to put a right leg or a right shoulder or a left leg front leg back leg so it, it helps a lot uh, i'm going to put the jaw here okay so the next thing is we add some moves so i add this move here the second move i can add is coming 45 degrees add a move here coming down i add a move here well, I'm going to rotate the wrist, add a move here, I'm going to open the jaw, add a move here, then let's go back up, add a move, let's move some of the other motors, oops, not up, down, add a move, further down. Let's rotate the base back. Add a move. Let's go down. Uh, okay. Here. 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 So we add a move. We close the jaw. We add a move. We come back up. We add a move. Okay, so now we have added all these moves. Let's run the robot in a loop and see what happens. Oh. Right now it's functioning at 100% of the speed and there is these delay this default delay which is 300 milliseconds between all of these so we could change the delay to 500 milliseconds between each step let's run the sequences this delay is important because if we don't give this delay it will go to the next step even before it completes all the function the whole function and the robotic arm will not reach its desired position so this is with a 500 millisecond delay let us stop and change it to a thousand millisecond delay. Let's run this sequence now. So you see the delay between the steps has increased. Now we could also insert a delay individually. Like if I wanted a delay of 100 milliseconds, just 100 milliseconds between these two. And we run the sequence. What's going to happen is, let's see. It's not going to stop for one second between those two steps but all the other steps is going to stop for one second that's a thousand milliseconds
and I ha also have to remove the default delay here. So you see if I remove the default delay, it's going to run fast, but then the position might not be reached. Okay, so let me remove this delay for a bit. So I'm going to add a speed of 60 here. Oh, here we go, a speed of 60. And after this step, I'm going to add a speed of 100 again, because that's the default speed. So now I'm going to go back to this position. And this is the home position. I'm going to run the sequence. Let's see the difference. See, it came down a lot slower than, whoops. You see this, the default delay was not clicked. Now I'm going to go back again and I'm going to run the sequence. It's coming down a lot slower and it is staying there for one second, which is the default delay we have set in each move. Okay. I'm going to stop this here. Okay, this move again is a bit fast. So we'll add a speed of 60 here. Let's say we add the speed 60. Da -da 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 -da. We add the speed 60 here. I'm going to add the speed. And after this move, I'm going to add a speed of 100 back again. Add the speed. Okay. So we start from zero and now we run the sequence. So you can see the speed has decreased for both these steps. Okay, now the other function which I would like to show is the go to function. So uh, let me stop this. Here this is this home position, but every time we don't want to go to the home position, right? We go to directly the, sec the second step. So what we'll do here is we'll add a go to line one. So then the, the home position is never going to come in the picture once the sequence starts. It will just start from here and it will go to the next position. So just observe. Okay, so it skipped the first step which was the home position. This is especially useful in walking robots and in making moves because you want to start with the home position but you don't want to go to the home position each time. Okay guys, this is it for this video. Uh, we'll be discussing further features in the next video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.